Hi guys, I just realized I did not do a uh, final walkthrough of 67, 6718 Virginia, but it is now actually, I converted it to a Airbnb. It's, and it's going great, it's right here behind me. I'll do a quick walkthrough. Flooring turned out great. These floors are was well, 1865 when it was built, so they're good. 120, 100 and about 35, 140 years old. At living room, we were able to repair these doors, so these actually come out. Um, when the house was built, they made this room an optional bedroom. Um, and the way in would have been back to the dining room would be straightforward because there's two doors right here in a little hallway. So, you could close off these doors and make a bedroom. And we actually ripped up the track and then had to make a new track, but... We're able to complete it. Crown molding turned out great. Try to keep as much baseboard and trim as possible. But it is doing great now. Um, I think it was about just about 95% rented in August. It the the first uh guests that stayed at the house actually threw a party so that was very stressful but ever since then it's been smooth sailing we have exposed brick floating shelves turned out great we went with a ship lap for all the walls in the kitchen other than the exposed brick and i think it turned out awesome Here's a backyard is this a gated parking that's actually a really big seller to be able to park off the street back there um, and actually there is 6719 Michigan that will be the next one not sure if that will be a Airbnb or if I'll have to just sell it go up the stairs you love the chandeliers. Look back here and have the. Oh, looks like it's kind of bent. Here's the main bathroom. Shiplap walls. Look like the little cubby there is a window. have a guest coming in tomorrow um, ever since school has been back in session it's been slowing down a little bit but still going pretty strong here's the master bath and I might work close so I look great and this is really neat though you can actually put a a heater on it so when it when you're in the shower it will stay uh, fogless I guess um, trendle beds I've been going with they have a bed underneath here that just pulls right out um, we actually did you can look at the last videos here's a walk-in closet um, we trying to think here what we did with the walls I believe yes there was a wall that went from here straight over and we actually moved the other room was really big so we actually moved this whole wall it's not a load-bearing wall so we moved it over about three three four feet into this room this room was 
like 18, 20 feet long. It was way bigger than we needed. And we made a couple closets in here. I did make a little mistake. I bought these two colors kind of clash with each other, but I think they're fine. I just kind of go look at Target or Walmart for ideas and pick out whatever I think looks good. And that's it. I'll keep you updated on the next property.